for us, the transition in uh, design from Batman Arkham Asylum to Batman Arkham City was a massive creative and technical overhaul. Every aspect of the studio really had to rethink um, what it was to deliver a, a game that genuinely makes people feel uh, like Batman. And for us, I think Arkham Asylum did a great job of creating an atmosphere and a kind of intensity. And for at Batman Arkham City, we're taking that on, out onto the streets of Gotham City. So the game takes place within a walled-off district of uh, Gotham City, which is now this sprawling super prism called Arkham City. So, you know, Batman Arkham City is not a sandbox game, but it's not a, a tight linear narrative game either. It's somewhere in between. We still tell an incredible story with all that same intensity, but we really give players that sense of freedom of navigation that I think really suits Batman as a character. Rather than just telling the story through cinematic cutscenes, um, we wanted to fill every inch of the game world with narrative components. So while we've got this incredible core, sort of core narrative path, if you um, go off the side and start to explore the back streets and the back alleys and rooftops of Arkham City, there's also story in all of those aspects as well. So if you listen into conversations that thugs and other criminals are having around the game world, you will get uh, narrative information from them. If you have conversations with some of the political prisoners that are, have been thrown into Arkham City, you'll also get story from them. I need details, Captain. You tell me everything about him. For us, high impact combat is a massive part of it. Stealth components is a big part of it as well. Incredible story and narrative, the rogues gallery, um, that's a big part of it as well. But Batman is also the world's greatest detective, so crime scene investigation and forensics is a really big part of who he is as a hero. So um, detective mode for us is something that is absolutely integral to uh, a Batman experience that, that delivers on all of those points. Um, and the way in which we've balanced it uh, for Batman Arkham City um, has, I think, really given players an opportunity to use it when it's really required for forensics and for, for investigation. Um, but at the same time, there's uh, very compelling reasons to uh, not use detective mode in um, most of other aspects of the game. So I don't think we're going to see players um, finding that they use it as an exploitation in Arkham City. They'll be using it where it's appropriate during those forensics and uh, crime scene investigation moments of the game. It's a tales, kitty cat. You know, I think uh, combat is something that we really um, nailed in, in Arkham Asylum, and so taking it out into the streets and kind of having these huge street brawls with thugs who are loyal to Joker or Two-Face or the other villains um, is a really big part of the experience for us, especially in a world which is much more freeform. We've pretty much doubled the number of animations that Batman has across the board, so combat um, feels incredibly varied and incredibly exciting, not just for the player, but spectators who are watching someone else play the game. It looks awesome. Um, we've increased the number of simultaneous attacks that thugs can launch against Batman now, so rather than just um, having a single one-on-one -on -one counter, you can double or triple counter uh, groups of thugs simultaneously. We've also integrated uh, his gadgetry into combat as well, so you can use the bat claw to grab guys from across the other side of the room, bring them into the fight, or you can use explosive gel to lay down uh, combat gel during uh, a particular melee and then spring out of there and de uh, detonate that remotely. So I think the combat experience overall has been really fundamentally redesigned and it feels just as awesome and just as high impact, but it's got a load more uh, additional features for this game. The stealth component of the game is a, is a big feature for us because it um, provides a great change of pace. You know, being out in the streets, uh, having these brawls with groups of guys, uh, flying around, gliding between the buildings of Gotham City is very high impact and very, very fast. So we really drop the pace down in uh, stealth moments where you get to feel like this predator striking from the shadows, which is a, a really significant part of the Batman experience for us. We've put an incredible amount of work into this game and we really can't wait to uh, get it in gamers' hands and see what people think uh, coming fall this year on PC, PS3 and Xbox 360. Nice of you to say, but you of all people should know there's plenty wrong with me.